It's your boy Calix Boxing here. Hit that sub button for nightly boxing videos. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Shout out to you guys. Welcome aboard. And I hope I can give you guys some good entertainment on here. And keep hitting me with those comments, man. I'm enjoying the comments. And I'll be getting back to more of them tonight. And um, I, I wanted to talk real quick about this he said, she said going on between the Crawford team and Bob Arum recently because Bob Arum did an interview with Boxing Scene yesterday, I believe, saying that they offered Crawford the fight, but Crawford only wanted to fight at 140. And Crawford basically came out last night on Twitter and said, I wasn't offered the fight at any weight. Now, who you want to believe is who you want to believe. I... When I, when I look at this, from the outside looking in, obviously. So I can't say I wasn't, I wasn't at the table when these guys are discussing this stuff. But from the outside looking in, last week, Pacquiao came out and said that um, he didn't like, or, or Kahn's, Michael Kahn's came out and said that him and Pacquiao did not like Crawford's style. They don't want the fight. Freddie Roach came out after the post-all Crawford fight and said, um, that's not a fight we really want to do right now. Okay, so obviously those guys are on record saying that they don't want the Crawford fight. Okay, I think what this is all about, Aram coming out and covering himself and basically saying, without saying it, if you, if, you, know, if you want to translate this, what he's saying, he's basically saying we're getting backlash on this fight HBO doesn't want the fight. All right. Right now, they're, they're shopping it to Showtime. They're shopping it to ESPN, and they're shopping it to Turner. That's the newest news. All right. So if they don't do this fight on pay-per-view, if they don't do Pacquiao versus Vargas on pay-per-view, then it's a good fight. Then people will watch it. It'll be like De La Hoya versus Stevie Forbes. Okay. We all knew what it was. We all knew who was, who was going to win. And if De La Hoya lost the fight, he's completely washed up. And he looked, De La Hoya looked terrible in that Forbes fight. He got touched up quite a bit, and he outweighed him by a lot. But people know what it was coming in, all right? It was just a gift to the fans, you know, a free fight, free fight. But it's not on pay-per-view, all right? So if, if Pacquiao did one of those things with this Vargas fight, basically saying, yeah, this Vargas guy doesn't belong in the ring with me, but it's not on pay-per-view. Here you go. It's a stay busy fight until I do something bigger next year. Then, then all is well. But if they're trying to put this on pay-per-view, <laughs> they're already trying this thing where Bob Arum came out today, or yesterday, he said it's going to be a war. This is going to be a war. This is going to be a great fight. And then today they're, they were shopping it. Bob Arum is saying, um, Hispanic fans across the world, Bob Arum loves, and all promoters do this in boxing, but he loves playing that uh, race and nationality thing where he says all Hispanic fa fans around the world are going to enjoy this fight. All Hispanic fans are going to be behind this fight around the world. I'm a Hispanic fan. I'm not excited about this. So not every, not all of us. <laughs> so um, they're really trying to play this. They're really trying to pick this up and play this fight as it's going to be a great fight. You know, they're trying to pitch it as an exciting fight and as, as an entertaining fight. But the problem is, on paper, if Pacquiao is still Pacquiao, it's not a competitive fight. It's just not. It's more like Pacquiao versus Rios a couple years ago. We all knew Rios didn't belong in the ring with him, but they tried to sell it as, a, as an exciting fight. I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, as far as this goes, I tend to look back at what these guys were saying last week. And Aaron was not saying last week that we offered Crawford the fight at 140-147. Aaron was saying last week, I don't know who, who Manny picked for this fight, but we're going to fly out next week and, and talk to him about who he's going to pick in this fight. He never said anything about offering Crawford this, offering Crawford that. Never, none of that was spoken about. And Crawford's team never spoke about Pacquiao offering the fight. I just don't see where all this is coming from. All right, just say, just own it, and just say that we wanted the Vargas fight. Just own it. That's all we're asking for. Just own it. Just say, I wanted an easier fight this time around. I'm distracted with the government stuff in the Philippines. I'm distracted with this. I'm distracted with that. I want to set up a bigger fight. I want 
Mayweather again next year, just say it. Just own that and just say it's a stay busy fight. Just say it. All right, but don't try, don't try to push this and in, 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 um, insult boxing fans' intelligence by saying, oh, this is a great fight. We're doing this for the fans, blah, blah, blah. You know, fans aren't going to buy this. Hit me up. Let me know what y'all think about this. Is Crawford telling the truth? Is Pacquiao telling? Is Bob Arum telling the truth? Because we haven't heard Pacquiao say anything. Hit me up.